Hello, welcome to my first video log. Um, been thinking about doing this uh, for a while. Uh, this is Joe the Runner with JoeRandini.com. Um, have a group of people on Fitbit that I uh, frequently uh, challenge. It's, it's every day pretty much. We're just a really close-knit group. And one of our group actually did their first 30-kilometer long run and had a lot of questions basically about, you know, how do you go for a long run. 30 kilometers for, for folks who don't do metric, that's about 18 uh, and a half miles or so. So it's a significant long run. Um, but I figured for my first video log, what would be a great idea is to maybe go through uh, a typical long run setup. So I run uh, ultra marathons. My next marathon is a 40 mile race in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. And tomorrow I have a 32 kilometer long run, which is about 20 miles. So I'm gonna basically walk through um, all the stuff that, uh, that I go uh, take with me, that I wear, things like that, um, and, and basically uh, try to get that explained so that people who are doing this for the first time have a better understanding of what's required. Um, before we get into it though, you know, <laughs> disclaimer time, right? So. So here you go. So this is uh, what I do uh, for my long runs, and this is the, the nutrition and the way I handle things. Um, all the products that I'm going to show you guys today, whether it's the, uh, the vests or the water bottles uh, or the nutrition itself, I am not sponsored by anyone. So uh, that's not to say if any of these guys see me that uh, I wouldn't like a bone thrown my way. I would definitely love a sponsorship, but uh, don't have any right now. So everything I tell you is just because I love the products. And, uh, and it's what I use. And I'm going to break it down into basically three sections. The first section is going to be kind of what I wear directly on my body. So the shorts and the socks and things like that. The next section is going to be kind of what I put on uh, on the outside and the bottles and the things that I take with me for the run. Uh, and then the third and final section, I'll just walk through some of the nutrition uh, that I take on the run and, uh, and my recovery drink as well. So uh, there you go. So let's dive into it. Let's jump into what I wear and what I put on my body. So the most important thing is nipple tape. Um, I use uh, Nexus uh, first aid tape. It's waterproof. Uh, this stuff has stayed on my body in rain and snow. It uh, doesn't matter, but uh, I'll just take a little strip off, apply it, and I'm good to go for miles and miles. So this is my favorite by far. Nexcare first aid waterproof tape. Um, the next uh, items that I got obviously is technical shirt, so a technical running shirt. Uh, then you've got uh, this right here is a pair of Nike uh, running shorts with a liner for support. Uh, and then the socks that I wear, these are Xperia and they're running socks that are specifically designed with padding in certain places uh, to avoid, you know, hot spots, blistering, uh, you know, corns, things like that. All this clothes is moisture wicking, which is really important because once you get wet, and, and I live in North Carolina where it's extremely humid, uh, and you soak through the clothing, pretty much anything where the clothing is constricted to the body and you add moisture, you're, you're going to have chafing in all sorts of uh, places that you don't uh, necessarily want to chafe in. Um, I have compression uh, socks that I wear. These are sleeves, actually, that go around my calves. Um, in Europe, I found a company that was a, it's a French company. Um, I can't get those here anymore, so now I've gone to CEP, which the quality of CEP it seems to be very good. Uh, I like to wear compression socks. It gives me the support around my uh, calves that you know makes me feel confident, and, and it seems to have minimized strains and improved circulation. So that's you know a lot of opinion out on that particular product but uh, for me i do like compression sleeves on my on my calves especially for longer runs and then finally for shoes these are hoka one one uh challenger atr3 uh, these are all-terrain shoes so i'm a big fan of the all-terrain type of a shoe because uh, i'll do some running on pavement to get to my trail system when i'm training and I do a lot of things like urban ultras where you're running on streets and then trails and then streets again. So I like a shoe that has the durability to kind of transition from terrain to terrain. So let's jump into uh, the things that I wear on top of my clothing now. And this is probably a little bit more interesting for people who are setting out to uh, do their first 
training for uh, long runs or, or for ultra marathons, even marathons. But um, the point is you need to be able to be self-sustaining during these runs, right? So um, one of my favorite pieces of kit right here, this is an ultimate direction uh, hydration vest. Uh, this is the Scott Jurek uh, version of it. I think it's probably a year old now, so it's probably an older version. But you can see there's lots of uh, different pockets to put things like gels and um, you know water bottles and things like that. So there's tons and tons of um, storage locations and pockets. Easy access for another compartment here on the back. Um, I'm not going to get too much into detail about this, but what I would say is these vests... It's very important to spend the money on them and get a vest that you know, you're comfortable with and fits you well because you're going to run for a long time in this piece of equipment. And if you don't have something that makes you feel comfortable, uh, you're going to have a pain on your shoulders, you're going to have chafing, things like that. So really take the time uh, to do your research, try different vests on, uh, and don't skimp on that. Make sure you get a good vest. And two of the things that I really love about this vest, it came um, with these uh, plastic water bottles or, or hydration bottles that, you know, you can see they're very flimsy and flexible. So I can put uh, my hydration drinks in here or water uh, and fill them up. Um, it has a cap that when you bite down with your teeth, it releases the liquid into, uh, into your mouth. And as soon as you let go, it seals itself. And they fit nicely in the pockets right here on the chest. So they're very easy to access while you're going through, uh, going through your run. Um, and then finally for you know longer runs, so tomorrow I'm doing 32 kilometers, which I won't bring this, but if I start getting close to marathon distance on my long training runs, um, there's a hydration bladder that with the vest, it can go in the back. So you can place it in the back and the hose comes through the shoulder and you have easy access to drinking uh, and hydration from the bladder as well. So uh, you can bring with this vest, you can bring a lot of hydration uh, and have it easily accessible to you and still have your hands free. All that being said, another piece of equipment that I run with quite often and I enjoy uh, is a handheld. So um, you can see here it's just you know, basically a harness that you can take a bottle and you can put the bottle in like so and then the strap basically if you can see it you can put your hand in the strap like this and now the water bottle is stuck to your hand it even has a little pocket here so that you could open it and you could add gels or energy bars right here into this pocket you could put your keys or a credit card whatever you needed to so between the vest uh, and what it offers for hydration and the handheld, um, usually I can bring enough hydration that I can get out there and run, you know, 40 or 50 kilometers without uh, having to, to restock hydration or worry about running out of fluid. So uh, it's really um, an important piece of equipment. Uh, we'll get into some of the nutrition here in a minute, um, energy bars and things like that. But uh, this is probably for long runs, one of the most important pieces of equipment. And I suggest if you're, if you're gonna run an ultra and you know even on your shorter long runs, you probably wanna wear all this stuff and bring nutrition with you because you wanna practice your long runs as if they're your race. So let, you minimize the amount of surprises you have on race day. So that's my suggestion, that's what I do, uh, and that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Finally, the, the last bit that I want to talk about today is basically the actual hydration and nutrition that I take with me on these long runs and on my ultras. Um, obviously, for a race, you're going to have a lot more variety, but for a long run, like tomorrow, where I'm going to do this, you know, uh, 18 to, to 20 miles, um, just having the ability to have all the calories and hydration on me and keep it simple is basically the goal and to practice eating uh, and drinking while I'm running. So start with hydration. Uh, I'm a big fan of Tailwind. So you can see the package here. Uh, it's a big package. Uh, this is 50 servings, I believe, of Tailwind. Tailwind is kind of um, it's, it's almost like Gatorade or Powerade, but much, much lighter on taste. So it has all the electrolytes that those two products offer and more actually. Um, but it's a very light taste, so it's much easier on your stomach. It was developed by uh, an ultra runner who had stomach issues during a race and he wanted something that he could go to uh, that would be light on his stomach. So it's a great product. I love it. 
Uh, it comes in two versions. There's a caffeinated version and a non-caffeinated version. Uh, I'm a fan of the caffeinated version. It just gives me that little buzz that I need sometimes when I'm tired or, or a little bit of a pick-me-up. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people use the non-caffeinated version as well. So uh, Tailwind is, is what I use in my water bottles, um, what I use even in my hydration pack most of the time. I try to get calories in uh, as much as I can, and that's a kind of a quick and cheap way to do it. Uh, the next thing um, we'll show you here is uh, gels that I use. So there's a company from England and these products are available uh, in the U.S. online. Uh, the company's name is SIS and uh, I use their Go Energy Electrolyte um, gel. So this gel, uh, it has about, uh, if I can remember, it has about... 22 grams of carbohydrates in one uh, gel pack uh, and it has electrolytes as well so it's a double you know double bang there uh, for the buck uh, and then I use the SIS go energy bars um, which I love these because they're packed with uh, carbohydrates so this is actually 44 grams of carbohydrates uh, this is the banana flavor um, but those two products the way that I use them is every five kilometers uh, I'll take either a gel or I'll take an energy bar. Um, so for tomorrow as an example for 32 kilometers that would be six times I'll probably have four gels and two energy bars that I'll mix throughout uh, the run. So every fifth kilometer I take either a gel or I take uh, the energy bar and then a kilometer later, I wash it down with some tailwind. So that's kind of the routine I use when I'm doing these long runs to make sure I'm staying hydrated, getting in electrolytes, and getting in uh, calories and carbohydrates. Um, love SIS products, they're great. Uh, and to show you um, what I recover with, it's the SIS recovery drink, it's Re, uh, Rego um, recovery drink. This has uh, the right mix of carbohydrates, proteins, um, you know, things like that to, to help you with your recovery. Uh, again, these products are available in the U.S. online. Um, this comes in vanilla, strawberry, uh, chocolate, and banana, and all the flavors for the recovery drink. I just love them. They're, they're delicious. So they're also good for just kind of, if you want a snack, making up a quick uh, smoothie or a shake with it uh, works really well. Um, so that's it. Tomorrow, like I said, I'll be out there doing uh, my long run. Uh, I hope this helps uh, beginners, the folks that are trying to get out there for the first time and do some of these longer runs and extend out to marathons and, and ultra marathon distances. Um, JoeRandini.com. You are capable of more than you think.